We're going to show you how to apply a Stage Frights Lion Appliance Mask. Everything you need is included in our makeup kit or you can buy the items separately. This kit includes makeup and sealer, a makeup brush, foam application wedges, powder and powder puff, spirit gum adhesive and remover, and an eyeliner pencil and stipple sponge. Test all products before you begin in an inconspicuous place on your skin. Leave in place for up to an hour. If irritation occurs, remove and do not use that product. Proceed with application if there is no irritation evident. Be sure to read all written instructions included in the package before you begin. You can also download a copy of these instructions from our website, stagefrights.com. It is highly recommended that you apply caster sealer on any latex appliance before using cream makeup. Dab off the excess with a clean paper towel or cloth. Caster sealer is only needed for cream makeup. It is not required for rubber mask grease and is incompatible with water or alcohol based makeup. Foam application sponges can be cut or torn for a custom shape. In this way you can create just about any shape tool you need. Use your foam application sponge to dap on base colors. We find that if you're applying the makeup to yourself, it's easier to put the base coats on the mask before placing it on your face. Though this is just a matter of personal preference, and you may choose to put the mask on first. You can dampen your sponge with a little water or alcohol for a smooth application. Use water to thin cream or water-based makeup and alcohol for rubber mask grease. Apply adhesive to the center of your face. Your nose and brow make good starting anchor points. The adhesive will become very tacky after a few moments of air drying. Once the adhesive is tacky, you can press the mask into place starting at the center. Work from the center out, applying adhesive and pressing into place as you go. Cover exposed skin with makeup blending into the mask, work down your neck, and don't forget to cover your ears. To prevent streaks, it's better to dab your makeup on than wipe it on. Use additional colors to add depth to your makeup, emphasizing the highs and lows of the piece. A coarse stipple sponge can be used to add specks of color and break up uniform areas. This adds a more natural look to your makeup. Use a brush or makeup pencil for detail work. Always exercise extreme caution when working around the eyes. Press powder into oil-based makeup using a powder puff to seal it. Once it's dry to the touch, dust off excess with a brush or dry cloth. Powder is used to seal oil-based makeup only. If you're using water or alcohol makeup, sealing may not be necessary. An acrylic sealer may be applied as water or sweat barrier over these types of makeup or over a powdered oil-based makeup. Powdering makeup may dull the colors. You can bring back the vibrance by carefully dabbing a damp cloth over the powdered makeup. 
Once the mask is sealed, your makeup is done. Add your costume and you're ready for your event. All music provided by our friends of Midnight Syndicate and used with permission.